much, and then we'll open it up for questions. You know, uh, I knew Bryce was going to be tough, and I knew he was going to be a goer. Um, you know, but unlike the other competitors, I didn't overlook him. Uh, to be honest, on uh, the first day of weigh-ins, I was looking through the line, I was looking through the line, and I looked at him, and I was like, you know, see, deep down, he's a dog horse, and I, ha I had a feeling he was going to make it through, and the next thing you know, he does, and, you know, a tough match, but one takedown was, uh, was enough to seal the deal. All right, questions for Dean. Yes, sir, right up front. Dean Zeb Miller, Flow Wrestling, Ohio Pass. Uh, I've been following you since middle school. And uh, it, it's amazing what, what you've come through. St. Edward, now Oklahoma State. Was this just natural? This was destined? Every program you've gone to, you've had great success. What's the, what's the main driving force behind you? And winning all the time, everywhere you go. You know, uh, kind of one of, the, one of the main driving forces is to be plain and simple, nobody ever likes me. Nobody ever likes me, nobody ever gives me the respect that I feel like I deserve. And, you know, it, it, ever since middle school, I mean, time, ever since you've been watching me, no, every year people are always projecting other people to beat me. You know, it, it took me three years to finally be projected to win state, even though I was a three-time state champ, you know. I was always projected to lose at Super 32, and, you know, I, I was always projected to be second. Always projected to be third, and you know, that always drives me. And you know, going into this tournament, being the one seed, I was projected to lose by Ashnall, by McKenna, by Ward. You know, it just, it, it, that is what drives me, you know. Always, always having people doubt me. And maybe, maybe this finally uh, stops people from, from doubting me, but you know, that, that, they won't stop the fire burning inside. I, uh, I'll always remember the people who always have my back. I'll always remember the people that, that died me from the beginning. And that'll drive me from, from, from eighth grade until forever. I mean, it's that plain and simple. I just nobody ever liked me. Thank you. Gary Abbott. Hi, Gary Abbott, USA Wrestling. Uh, Dean, you talked a little bit earlier in the week about getting more mature and growing into to the wrestler that you are now. And, do you feel that uh, that growth made a big difference in, in a close finals match? I mean, th this is when you've really got to use all the resources at your hand. Yeah, um, you know, a uh, year and a half ago, I, I was contemplating leaving the sport. You know, uh, then all of a sudden, you know, I, I, I get Coach Smith on my back, and uh, he starts, you know, pushing me and pushing me. And the Dean Hall a year ago, probably would have gave up two or three more stall calls, you know. But the Dean Howell this year, the more mature Dean Howell, uh, yeah, I only gave a one stall call, but, you know, he, he knew he knew to push those last 30 seconds. He knew, he knew to stay aggressive, to, to, to make sure that I, I finished the match. That, uh, that the, the maturity definitely played a role in this match. So, yes, to follow Kyle, up on that, why were you contemplating leaving the sport? Excuse me, if you identify yourself. Kyle right. Klingman, Win Magazine. Why were you contemplating leaving the sport? Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of personal issues going on in my life. Um, I'd rather not go into that. But there, there was just a lot going on between personal life um, and the wrestling life, both. Um, so, it, it was just a combination of a bunch of things. Four time Ohio State champion uh, decision to go to Oklahoma State. I know that Tom Ryan said he wanted to box it in. Clearly he did with you. Now you're national champion for Oklahoma State. Why'd you go there? You know, um, because, you know, I, I always wanted to go to Oklahoma State when I was little. Uh, I always put, wanted there. But I, I don't think Tom Ryan pushed enough. If he wanted me as bad as he they, they claimed they did, they, they would have made more, made more, been more attentive as trying to get me, you know, that Guerrero and Smith did, and that's what got my attention. I felt wanted. Gary Abbott. Uh, Dean, you've qualified for the Olympic trials. Do you plan to go to Iowa City in a few weeks? And uh, uh, At the beginning of the season, you know, Coach Smith always, uh, he came in one day and he's like, he's like he, he goes, Ohio State has a 19-year-old who 
just won Worlds. Why can't my team have something like that? And I pulled Coach Smith aside after a week of thinking about it. I'm like, I want to be that guy, Coach. So, um, right now, uh, I, I feel pretty motivated to go. Um, there's a good chance that I will. You know, I'll talk it over with Coach Smith one more time, see, what he, see how he feels. But um, as of right now, uh, I, 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 I want to go. Final question. Right in the back. Eddie Goldman, no holds barred. Congratulations. Since you said you've always been counted out and the underdog so many times, what is your message? What lesson can you draw from this, particularly for young people that are getting involved with wrestling? Um, just uh, just because you're always counted out, just because people don't think you're the best, doesn't mean that you can't believe in yourself. You got you got to believe in yourself. You know, growing up, I uh, I had a coach, Jim Hewitt. You know, and after every practice, he'd be like, "Who's number one in the world? Who's who? Who's the best guy out there?" And, yeah, and I'd always say, "I am coach. I, I'm number one in the world." And you know, and just hearing that, hearing myself say that every day, you know, was uh, was so something that made made me grow as a wrestler to realize that. I'm as good as everybody else, if not better. So, Dean, thank you very much. Congratulations.